So the question is, consider the following statements. Albert, Dave did it. Dave says Tony did it. Doug says I did not do it. Tony says Dave lied when he said I did it. A condition is if one of if only one out of all these above statements is false, is true, who did it? Similarly, D is if only one out of all the above statement is false, who did it? Now these are all logical reasonings. These are all logical reasoning questions, puzzle type of a questions. So whenever you get questions like this. It will be elimination of possible alternatives and all the statements will have to match it from one end to the other. All the statements will have to match whatever you are taking false in one end as we pass through. So it is elimination of possible alternatives. Your mind has to be open. You should not fix, yes, this fellow is telling right, this fellow is telling right. The moment you fix that fellow is telling right, you will not get your answer unless that statement itself is right. So your mind has to be open. So what happens is here, if only one out of all the above statement is true, it means that one true, three false. It means that one true, three false. So what I normally do is, I will always take the first statement to be true. I will always take the first statement to be true. So on the basis of that, I will presume that Dave has done it. Albert, if Albert is true, whatever he says is right, Dave has done it. On the basis of this, I will check whether the other three are becoming false. Because as per this condition, one of all the above statement is true, then who did it? The other three will have to be false. So on the basis of this, I will have to check whether other three are false. If any one of them, if all the three are false, then presumes are right, they have done it. But if any one of them is true, then my presumption is wrong, then I will check for Dave is true. Now I am fixing Albert is true. I am fixing Albert is true. If Albert is true, Dave did it, I am fixing that Dave has done it. Now I will have to check whether the other three are becoming false. Dave says Tony did it. Because Dave has done it, whatever Dave is telling, because Tony could not have done it, so this will become false. This will become false. Now Gug says I did not do it. Now because Dave has done it, Gug has definitely not done it, so Gug is becoming true. Now what is happening is, I can have only one true statement, Dave Albert is true, Gug is also true, my presence that Albert is speaking the truth is wrong. My presence that Albert is speaking the truth is wrong. Now I will check for Dave to be true. In case I take Dave as true, what will happen is, Dave says Tony did it. Dave says Tony did it. Because Tony has done it, Gug did not do it. If Gug says I did not do it, this will also become true. So, my presence that Dave is true is also wrong. My presence that Dave is true is also wrong. Now I will check for Gug to be true. If Gug is true, he says I did not do it. Then as per this condition, other three will have to become false. The moment I check Tony is false, he says Dave lied. Then Dave will become true. If I say Dave is false, Tony will become true. So again I will have two true statements. Therefore, Gug is also not true. Now if the question is right, one of them will have to be definitely true. So Dave is definitely true. The other three will have to become false. The moment I write Gug is false, the moment I write Gug is false, Gug says I did not do it. If it is false means he has done it. Gug says I did not do it. If it is false means Gug has done it. Automatically Albert will become false and Dave will become false. So one true, one true three false statements. A is only one of the above statement is true. Who did it? Then A will be Gug has done it. Because Tony is true, other three are becoming false. As Gug says, I did not do it. If it is false, means Gug has done it. So A will be Gug. Similarly, I will, because the second statement says, if only one out of the above four statements is false, I will fix one statement as false and check other three are becoming true. So I will check this fellow as false. Albert is false. Then the other big will have to become true. It has to match everywhere. The moment I write Dave is true, Tony did it. And now Tony has done it. Tony has done it. What will happen is, Doug says, I did not do it, this will become true. This will become true. Tony says, Dave lied. Because I presume Dave to be true, Tony will become false. I cannot have two false statements. My present is, Albert is speaking, the false is wrong. So, this is not right. Then I will check for Dave to be false. I will check for Dave to be false. If Dave is false, other three are to become true. The moment I read Albert is true, it is Dave who has done it. Ultimately, Gug says I did not do it. That is also true. 
and here on a day of light, because I have taken day to be false, this also will become true. So, three true, one false statements. So, day was light, and who has done it? Because Albert is true, Dave did it, the answer is Dave. So, A will be God, and D is Dave. So, elimination of possible alternatives always. Don't think that this is the only statement that is right. Be, keep your mind open. Any one of them could be right. Any one of them could be false. Follow one by one and you can get your answer faster. Subscribe to my channel. It is free of cost. I will be adding videos every now and then. Wish you all the best.